I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an application question on cosine law. While golfing, Sahar hits a tee shot from tee towards a hole H, but the ball veers 23 degrees and lands at B. The scorecard says that H is 270 meters from T. If Sahar walks 160 meters to the ball B, how far to the nearest meter is the ball from the hole? Let's sketch the diagram. Let's say this was the point from where the ball was hit and that was the hole H. So let's say this is T and that is the hole. But it veers by 23 degrees. Let's say let's say that is 23 degrees. <coughs> Let's say that is <coughs> let's say that is 23 degrees, so that is 23 degrees. And we'll call this point where the ball now lies. And we need to find the distance between B and H. That's what we need to find. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my solution. Now it says if Sahar walks 160 meters to the ball, that means this distance is 160 meters. How far to the nearest meter is the ball from the hole? So this is what we need to find. Let's put it x. And already we know h is 270 meters from t. So this distance is 270 meters. Now since we know two angles and a side, so since we know S A S, we should be applying cosine law, right? To find x applying cosine law, we get x square equals to square of these two, add them up, plus 160 square, take away 2 times 270 times 160 times cos of angle, which is 23 degrees, right? That is what it is. So straight away we can get our answer. So let's write down 270 square plus 1, I'm sorry, okay, let's, so let's write down, it is uh, 270 square plus 160 square minus 2 times 270 times 160 times cos 23 equals to so that is 18968.38 so the distance x is equals to square root of this number 18968.38 so square root of our answer is equal to 137.725 we have to round it to nearest meter, so we get 138 meters as our answer. So the answer is 138 meters. Right? So I hope it is absolutely clear. Whenever we are given two sides and included angle, we have to apply cosine law. Even when we are given three sides, we apply cosine law. So that's a straightforward application of cosine law. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thank you, and all the best.